Hey, good morning to you. I got some really good news. Jesus is Lord. The devil has been totally defeated, and thank God the word works. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 says, This is the confidence, love that word, confidence, that we have in him that if we ask anything, I like that word too, anything, according to his will, then we know that he hears us and that we have those petitions that we've just prayed according to his will in him. Now watch this. Somebody said, how do you know the will of God? Only one way to know the will of God, pick up your Bible, go to reading it, find out what it says about you. Well, I don't know if it's the will of God for me to be healed. Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus Christ who went about healing all every one of them that were oppressed of the devil. It actually says doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And the Bible says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So it's always the will of God for you to be healed. You got to get that. Now, if you got this ungodly religious idea, well, the Lord allowed it. No, God didn't allow that. You did because you opened the door to it. We're helping with my grandchildren and one of them got in trouble the other day. And so, uh, they were all upset. Well, the teacher this, and you know, so and so this, and well, you know, it wasn't my fault, and well, and all that stuff. And I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, you didn't have to do that. You chose to do that. So the problem wasn't the teacher. The problem wasn't the system. The problem wasn't what other people did. The problem was you did it. A lot of times we want to blame God rather than have to accept the responsibility. You know, we didn't pray right. And we didn't believe right. Uh, so therefore we didn't receive right. Old Brother Hagin had a book, I read it probably a hundred times, called Right and Wrong Thinking. If your thinking is wrong, then your believing is going to be wrong and your receiving is going to be wrong. So you have to renew your mind. That's what the Word says over in the 12th chapter of the book of Romans, chapter 1, that we're not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. I mean transformed. We're different. You know, people, everybody else around me is sick all the time, you know, and are they're having financial di di distress all the time. You don't have to do that, financial distress. You don't have to go through that. You don't have to have the flu every time it comes around or the cold season comes around. You don't have to do that, but you've got to plant the seed of the Word of God so that you know what is the will of God so that you can say, I resist that in Jesus' name. Now, <clears throat> this spring, of course, it's already into May now, but this spring seemed like it was the worst year that I can recall in several of pollen, and boy, it began to affect me. My nose began to go, <gasps> my eyes was itching, and you know, after several days, I said, well, you know how it is. That pollen is just working on me, and boy, I mean, I got a whole lot worse in the next couple of days, and then I said something to Pat, bless her sweet, darling, wonderful heart. I said something to her about, man, out there, that uh, pollen is affecting me today out there. I'm having a bad time. She said, is that so? I said, well, yeah, that's so. She said, why don't you say it don't affect me? I said, you don't understand. It's affected me. She says, you don't understand. You're letting it affect you and you're receiving it and accepting it rather than saying what the will of God is. And I began, whoa, wait, 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 oh, wait. Rather than, you know, get mad at her, I realized, you know, I'm the one that's letting this thing on me scared me. And I began to change right then. And within just a matter of a few hours, boy, that stuff left me. I didn't have any more problem out of it because I was the one that let it in. You're the one that's having the problems. Go to the word, pray the word, find out the will of God. It is the will of God for your bills to be paid on time in Jesus name. Hey, I got to go. Remember the devil's a liar. Jesus is Lord. Thank God. Hey, the word works.